can she use that leverage? She came in in high spirits. Kuno, resolute squat defending. Nice change of angle and direction already from the Japanese athlete in red. Araku Ore is so difficult to score on with her length, and she uses it very well. Since Daniel Igale, Olympic champion from Canada, has come back to Nigeria, he's put a lot of time, effort, and they're working to get a lot of money into the program. But you can tell the difference in the athletes from Nigeria since he's been there. They have a, a, a newfound respect for the sport, and they have really made an impact at the world level. Trying to make an impact here on the scoreboard. Okuno. Atakori working away here, shifting around. Okuno, the youngster. As you can hear in the background, Jason Bryan running off her resume. She's a cadet world champion. Can she go into the seniors here? Akuno, actually both of these athletes can score points very quickly and when they score they transition into turns very quickly as well. They both had uh, technical sp superiority victories in the semifinals to get to the final and uh, when they score, they score in waves. I'm well, trying to turn the tide here. Uh, the Korea has the clock against her. So that match management, that quality from Okuno, counting at the moment. Will it add up to one point? Getting close. Well, that's the way to kill the clock. Step back, have a look. The official had said, no fingers. And right there, that uh, Adekorie was on the 30-second shot clock, so the first point on the board goes to Okuno. But again, one point is not going to make this match. They are in that feeling out process, it looks like. They've never faced each other before, and neither is really willing to take a risk at this point. As you say, patience is a virtue. And at the moment, Okuno has that slight advantage. Adekori, he shoots for the legs, though. It went one point there for the, the step out. I'm surprised they, no one offered a caution to two for fleeing the mat there because Okuno turned her back and started to crawl out of bounds. Very close to a caution to two, but at this point, uh, not going to argue that call on a step out. Well, she did step out, Okuno, and stepping into the lead by virtue of that criteria into the last 30 seconds, Adekoriye has the merest of advantage. Okuno has a good hold, though. Great, she did under, over, around. She went under on a shot. She was able to come back out to a front headlock, not able to turn the corner to get around, but great transition there by Okuno. A strong refereeing into the last 10. Another warning. Both of them are listening too. Every time she says no fingers, they both let go very, very quickly. Now, nice counter attack by Adekorie. Not able to score, good defense by Akuno. Well, it's been a tale of a top quality battle here. Gold at stake. And the Koryu came in singing and dancing. She's had to get her professional game face on here. Because Haruna Okuno looking good. Not much to separate them as the scoreboard would tell you. She was very intent on watching both of her coaches, including uh, Federation President Daniel Igali. Yeah, the combination of coaches, so important. And also, I'm sure if you're a coach at home, you'll know what it means to put these athletes forward. These are uh, the biggest occasion, the biggest moments here at the World Championships. Odenayo Adekoroye. Trying to make some history here. Okuno well, trying to make the Nigerian history of her own. Has a decent hold. Nice use of an undercook by Okuno to not allow uh, Adekorie to get to the angle. Great strength as well if it catches the leg, though. Well, great level change by Okuno. And then getting up to her feet. 
putting that foot, we call it a treetop. She brought the foot down the ground and lifted it high, putting it up in the treetop, and was able to get uh, Adekore off balance for a two-point takedown. Now chopped a tree down and takes a three-point lead. A 3-1 lead, Adekori is still in this one. Lots of time left. The Nigerian looking for that fairy tale finish to try and change the dynamic of the global medal spread. But the Japanese Okuno couldn't care less about that. Sacrifices her head as she sneaks forward. Can Adekori you stand? Get round the back. Good speed from the Nigerian. Great change of direction. She faked one way and then automatically tried to swing her body to the other side. Uh, Onokuno felt that transition occurring and, and was able to defend it just in the last second, but Adekorie had it for just a brief minute. Climbing back into this one, the Nigerian Odenayo Adekorie. Will she be denied here? As she's talked about the refereeing. Respectfully listened to by both athletes. She said next time for sure. I think she said next time the last time. This time it's for sure. For sure, for sure, but trying to sneak round the back there, Adekori, you can she transition, get the two points for the takedown. Trying to sneak round, good defence. Okuno went for a little knee tap, Adekori. Ooh, that's close. Adekori was able uh, to defend the knee tap and go out in front. Now both wrestlers exposed their back, however, uh, Okuno was the one the main attacker in that and was able to break the 90 degree plane of uh, Adekorie's back first. Can she find her way back into this one? Odenayo Adekorie looking for the big scores here. Another slap to the face, shoots for the single leg, didn't wait for the referee, couldn't care less. Will she get the score for it? One for the step out. Again, uh, the coach from Nigeria begging for a two point because he said the attack started in bounds and finished out of bounds. I only gave one point for the step out, though. Well, Okuno switched off for a moment and found herself. Now, last time, okay? Attention for fingers. Next time, caution. The first okay? time. No fingers. The Five. next time. The last, last time. time. This is the last time. And we're into the last reaches of the last minute here. Adekoroye trying to sneak round the back. Okuno, wonderful transition. Absolutely. She came a, a low-level single with her head down, automatically popped her head up and had Adekorie's leg around the back of her neck. Now she's going to make sure that she keeps her head up and to keep uh, from getting turned over to her own back or to get gone behind. The length of Adekorie right here is going to be very difficult to score. She is probably about six inches taller. And right there, she was able to swivel her hips to the outside to create that angle. She's going to need to get that foot up onto her hip. If she can, almost put it that Right leg up onto her table. She's going to have to do it very quickly. Into the last 10 seconds here. World Championship gold medal at stake. Okuno had to defend. Adekorie has the last chance saloon here. Really going for it. Shoots for the leg. Okuno defending. Into the last four seconds. Sneaks around the back. Will she get the two for the takedown? She does. But beaten by the clock and beaten by a point. And the last second. Well, the fairy tale ending is in place and it is for Haruna Okuno. Adekori came so close, but in the end, quality told. And quality bout, John. They both had excellent chances to score. They both scored uh, some, some very tough points. Just happened that Okuno scored at the right time, the two point on the, on the edge of the mat, uh, out of bounds. But both wrestlers uh, competed at such a high level and Adekorie has got to be so excited.